This is the clipping technique, and uh, clipping is used on curved seams to allow them to lie smooth, and clips are slits cut into the seam allowance on concave or inward curves, such as a neckline. The sample pieces you will need is the little short bodice, and this is a small scale, and then a little piece that's curved like this called the facing. We need to prep our concave curve, and we're going to do stay stitching here. If this was full scale, the stay stitching would be at a half inch, but since this is half scale, we're going to do uh, the stay stitching at a quarter inch. And as you've already learned, stay stitching is done from shoulder to center, so we're going to be a quarter inch from the edge, and we would come just to the center, clip our threads, and go the opposite way to help prevent stretching in the bias area of this concave curve. Quarter inch. Now that's prepped for the seam. Okay. Now that we've prepared our um, neck edge with the stay stitching, we'll add our facing piece. Remember, this is small scale, so we're only going to do a 3 8 seam allowance. Full scale, it would be 5 8 and the stay stitching would be kept hidden. So find your 3 8 line. I'm going to put the needle in the down position. I'm going to back stitch just a few stitches. And you could pin this if you feel more comfortable doing that. Curves can be kind of tricky. So slow down, take your time as you go around those curves. Back stitch. Okay, the sewing portion is finished, but we're not finished with the technique. I want you to notice that we have made a small concave now bigger. Okay, and if we tried to flip that facing to the inside, there is no way we would get that neckline to lay flat. And that's because we've now made this a, a bigger concave. In order to release that inside curve, we need to clip it. And we're going to clip down close to our stay stitching. And I need better scissors. So we'll just do it like this. And we're going to clip about every half inch. Sometimes you have to clip closer together if it's more of a curve or not as close together if your curve is uh, less. See how that clipping now releases that fabric and allows that to open up so that when we turn this facing to the inside, it will lay flat and look professional. When you do your sample and mount it in your book, you will mount it this way though, so we can see that you have clipped it.